We're live. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gail Morgan welcoming you to the Libertarian Counterpoints Knuckleheads of Liberty podcast. You've heard their point. Now listen to the counterpoint. Welcome to the Knuckleheads of Liberty podcast. Today is June 16th, 2021. Five months into the Biden administration, lots of crazy stuff is ongoing. Many states are now lifting lifting their COVID restrictions. Some of our liberties are returning. Not enough, in my view. Let me, though, introduce our panel. In my upper left-hand corner is our champion of choice, Jason McPhee. He's an engineer with the state of California. In the upper right-hand corner is our screaming eagle of freedom, Tim Everett. He's a pilot in the state of California, not with the state of California. (laughs) He had made that clear to us many, many times. Mm -hmm. And you would notice that we are doing something a little bit different today. I am hosting the show. I am Leon Brathwaite, the last word in liberty. I am a retired engineer from the state of California. We have fired Jason as our host. (laughs) (laughs) No, we have not. No, we have not. We will be from (laughs) that <laughs> this happened. This this is a follow up to January sixth. <laughs> They've stormed the capital. So from time to time we will be rotating on the host. Um, I am sure at some time in the future, Tim will probably be doing this also. Um, next month, um, because of some scheduling issues, I will probably have to do a little more hosting to get us through the weeks that Jason is out traveling. So let us get into the topics. The first topic will be the continuing theme of this show will be corruption. We're going to be talking about corruption in the government, corruption in our media, corruption in reporting certain things that I find quite disturbing. One of the problems that we are finding in our government, in the federal government in particular, is this lack of transparency. But really, when you think about it, the lack of transparency is how big brother, you know, try to cover up their misdeeds. Anyway, recently, um, ex-Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was on one of the shows on Fox News, I believe it was, and he said that within the State Department, there was great resistance, or there probably is ongoing resistance to discovering the origins of the COVID virus. We have some information that suggests it came out of Wuhan, China, but nobody wants to go any deeper, apparently, within the State Department. I find this this quite disturbing, given the fact that to date, 600,000 of our fellow citizens have died because of this virus. So what do you guys think about this? Corruption in government? Or are they just looking out for us, trying to help us Go ahead, ahead, Jason. You haven't done this for a while. Well, they're they're always just trying to help, right? I mean, they're they're trying to help themselves to our uh, a little bit of our liberty. Our liberty, (laughs) exactly. Yes. Yes, Yes. but um, you know, the the crazy thing is, is that um, you know, it's it's hard to even know who's responsible for this, right? I mean, the the idea that uh, there was uh, questions about. Uh, who was funding this and who was blocking the investigation into, you know, finding out, um, you know, what happened in the Chinese lab. So maybe it wouldn't come back on the United States. I mean, was that the Trump administration that was, you know, uh, getting in the way? Was it, you know, sort of uh, deep staters, uh, you know, that are getting in the way? You know, guys like Fauci, career bureaucrats. It's, it's hard to say, but I think the one thing it does make clear is that, you know, whose hands are the right hands to put all this power in? You know, we, we put all this power in government and we just assume they're doing things in our interest. Yeah. And and whether or not they're trying to do good or not, uh, you know, look at the pandemic that was just created and then look at what they did to fix that problem. They, they kind of lied about a lot of stuff. They took away our liberty yeah. <laughs> all because, you know, hey, we're we're the government and we're here to help. Uh, no, what, what do you think, Screaming Eagle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, shocked, uh, shocked, I say, that the government doesn't want to investigate into something that may have been caused by the government. I'm just totally am- amazed 
that they don't want to look into their own uh, dealings in there. Um, yeah, uh, well, you know, I, I guess we could argue, uh, Jason brought up that, you know, we, we give all this power to government. I'm not sure what we gave and what was just ripped right out of our hands, or, right, or I should say out of the hands of the Constitution. You know, uh, where where does it give the federal government the power to do all these kinds of um, experimentations on uh, mutating uh, viruses? Uh, sure. You know, what what part of the uh, of the the Declaration or the Constitution is is that little article uh, section in uh, giving them that power? Um, so w whether however we got to this point, Jason is absolutely correct. You know, the, the government is 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 just it's a leviathan it's it's an enormous monster it's a monstrosity and it's it's um it's su sucking the life out of the united states i mean you know every economy has uh limitations i mean because if, if it's a and I, as i adjust my uh recently uh repaired knee here i think i want to close that door up there um Every economy is, uh, you know, is is uh, dependent upon levels of, of freedom and and uh, of uh, transparency in their government to to uh, to prosper. And it's just, you know, it's just not does not bode well for the future. Uh, and uh, I, I don't expect it to change uh, at all. I mean, just get worse. And we're here, I think, as libertarians to try to to try to slow down the Leviathan, the growth of Leviathan. It's like a cancer and we're, uh, you know, whittling away at little pieces of this enormous cancer that keeps growing and um, and uh, doing such wondrous uh, things to the world as um, potentially. I mean, I'm not saying, oh, this is what happened. I don't know what happened at Wuhan any more than I know what happened in the next door city, whatever that might be, in China. Um, but to say, we're, we're the State Department, we're not going to look into it. You know, we're going to thwart any uh, activity to look into it. That's just pure despotism. That's all that is. It's tyranny with a capital T. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know, but but what 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 is quite disturbing about all of, all of this is that the fact that some of our dollars apparently went to that lab in China where the virus may have may have origin, and and some of and some of the dollars were probably used for the, some of this gain of function research. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I I've said before I don't know what this gain of function research really mean. Are they talking about biological weapons? Are they talking about something that is going to help us deal with future pandemics? I don't know, but apparently some of our tax dollars were used in this regard. I find it quite disturbing. I really do. I don't know if you guys do. Either one of you guys wanted to add anything to that. Wow, I'm going to, uh, if I'm disturbed by those uses of um, dollars uh, spent by the federal government, I'm going to you know, just spend my life being uh, bent out of shape because <laughs> the, the, I mean, the, the, the magnitude of spending uh, is, is just uh, completely out of control. I mean, completely. It's, yeah. it's just, it's, it's just unbelievable. But, uh, <clears throat> and, and some people cheer it. Oh my God, how wonderful, you know, yeah, yes. they're, they're spending money on this or that or some other, you know, silly little thing. And uh, they think it's awesome, but um, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, of course. I mean, it's disturbing to me, but I, I again, I, I have to, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it's just very, very frustrating. Indeed, indeed. Jason, well, well Tim, I, I think though you you asked a, a question earlier, or you made a comment earlier in your uh, first remarks, and you said, um, I don't know when we gave up this. Uh, the, these liberties to government and essentially what, what how this happens is every little piece where we're okay allowing government to take on more and become bigger i mean if we really want a more libertarian view of government as a people we have to be uh, about 
principled in holding government simple, small, and transparent so that we know what's happening. Because like you're like Leon said, we don't even know exactly what's being done there with these tax dollars in Wuhan. They're being spent uh, it, it, under a government that is, you know, a Chinese government that clearly uh, is that does not necessarily have uh, America's best interest at heart. <laughs> right? Right. Exactly. And, right and, good point. Yes. Well, yeah. And, and, and the idea that we don't know and then that our own officials, such as Fauci, who I think you're going to talk about in a second, yes. but, but yes. He, he, they just flat out lie to us. And, and they always have good reasons, right, for the lying, you know, and, and Snowden <laughs> showed us this. I mean, I, I think it's, by the way, it's a little bit of a side drive, but I think it's just criminal, the fact that we, we are morally criminal, that we're just leaving Snowden out to dry with all this. When he showed us this corruption flat out, where the, the government was literally lying to Congress yes. uh, when they asked some questions, and then he's the one who is held out in, uh, in as, limbo. A villain, as a villain. Yes, exactly. That's just terrible. I mean, you know, what he did was the act of a patriot, at least for the uh, information that's been made available to us so far. That, that's that's what that's what Snowden did. I mean, he literally. Who, who are you referring to? I'm sorry, I miss Eric. Eric Snowden. He's the oh, one. Oh, who, oh Snowden. Yeah, yes. yeah. And and I, the only reason I mention that is because you know we have these officials like Fauci just flat out lying to us, and they have good reasons. Uh, you know, in the case of Snowden, that was one where literally the government was flat out lying, and he exposed it. And yeah. Fauci actually exposes himself. He literally he's yeah. so full of himself. He just comes right yeah. out and says, "Yeah, I lied to you, but I had a really good reason." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We lied to you. We lied to you, but yeah. it's highly justified. Very justified. Yeah. You know. Well, but, to wax a, uh, to wax a little bit <clears throat> philosophic, I wish that if or uh, was not such a big if the the if uh, if people want a smaller, limited, by a constitution type uh, government. Um, but <clears throat> I, I think it's um, it's it's not at all uh, been determined. In fact. Uh, I think, uh, judging from friends that I have on Facebook, they just want more and the government to have more and more and more power. And they're more than willing to chastise themselves at the altar of government to give up anything and everything. It's almost, it's not quite, but almost as if they would sacrifice their own mother at the altar of the government if required by the government. I mean, maybe that might be a little bit going a little too far. It sounds a little Orwellian, you know. Sacrifice your parents. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little a little bit Naziist. Not, or, is that a word? A little bit Nazi there. Uh, but uh yeah. Oh, are we gonna get clobbered for saying Nazi, Nazi, Nazi? Yeah. Uh, no, go anyway, ahead, man. Go ahead. We're we, naughty. We take our chances. We take our chances. We're, we're naughty for saying Nazi. But yeah. anyway, um, yeah. So uh, I, I just wish that it wasn't, you know. But here's to me the the truth is that we're just a a, a minority crying out in the wilderness for uh, a a return to uh you know. <laughs> I'll at this point in time I'll take less fast rate of growth. Okay, slow down the rate of growth of government a little bit. Okay, how about that? Can I can I have that? You yeah. Know, but but seriously, um, uh, it just doesn't look like it, especially judging from friends. And some friends are on the left, or de they're, they're Democrats, and they want more and more and more government. But as long as the Democrats are, are in charge, then it's hunky-dory. And then the people on the right want more and more and more and more government. As long as the Republican that's doing the more government stuff, then uh, puppies' tails wag faster, kitties purr louder, the sky is bluer, and on and on. So let's. So we have a good segue into the next into the next topic about Mr. Fauci. Kitty Fauci cats. seems like a very popular guy these days. What well, popular for the wrong reasons? I I would think. As it turned out, we had a freedom of um, information um, request. I don't know who it, who um, it came from. I, I, I read the article. I, I forgot. But in the emails that there were about ten thousand emails that came out that were all Fauci's email, like that he he. He sent them or received them. I don't know if you guys remember, but sometime early in the pandemic, Fauci told us it is most likely, using his very authoritarian voice, very authoritative voice, it's very likely that this had a natural origin. He was talking about the COVID. Well, 
his emails show that around the same time, which was very early in the pandemic, Fauci was aware of the possibility that this thing may have come out from the Institute of Virology in Wuhan, China. So there we go again, Mr. Fauci, our authority on these infectious diseases lying to us. And the media is still there propping, us, propping them up. So what do you guys think about this now, about the Fauci emails and all the information and revelations that have come, come from it? Tim, why don't you start us off on this? Okay, then I'll just say what I've said before. If you have half a brain, stop watching the mainstream news. Okay, just stop right now. You're an idiot for watching the mainstream news and you're getting just a bunch of misinformation. Now, if you watch it and you, and you um, have other trusted sources to go through to, to, to get a, a different view and another like view. Like the knuckleheads. Yeah, like the knuckleheads. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I, was, I was thinking about more experts in the field. And, and the, the internet is, is um, full of them. But you got to hunt them down. You got to use your brain. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not saying I know everything either. But I'm just saying that. You know, if you're just getting your news from the mainstream media, uh, even Facebook, which has now become the new mainstream media, I've noticed, um, then uh, you, you really need to uh, to uh, reevaluate your uh, your behavior there. OK, well, yes, I th I th yeah, I, th I think it's, uh, um, you know, you definitely have to have multiple sources. Uh, that's definitely been proven to us in the last four years that they're mm -hmm. just echo chambers all over the place. And uh, people are just yeah. coming out with this, I, I guess, incredulous, uh, you know, belief in all kinds of, of fiction that it's just, you know, sort of tearing the world apart. But I, I think the most disturbing thing about all this, you know, and, and we see with Fauci lying, with the who maybe being a little compromised by China, uh, all, all these different sources you know, who has the facts, right? I mean, the idea that there is a source of facts and these idea that we put these experts like a Fauci or some other government expert, uh, we hold them up and say, that is the truth. And, I mean, it's really dangerous. I mean, uh, Fauci was literally saying things that weren't true. He acknowledged they weren't true. And yet, if you said things that were opposite of what Fauci or the who said at some point, that you would get, uh, uh, you know, your shows, uh, you know, your, your your voice would be minimized or canceled on different platforms. Yes. Um, and certainly different media outlets would just completely filter it out, um, you know, like like to CNN or some of those others that just literally just tell their side of the story and that's it. Um, but this is just uh, something I think that's the real thing that that this has really pulled off. The real mask that's come off is that we really have to be conscious and aware of the fact that there is no paragon of the truth to go to out there. You know, we all have to work towards getting there. It's not just going to be handed yeah. to us. Yeah. And that and that's a that's a good, good point. point. You know, that's a good point about working towards the truth because social media and, and and the mainstream media have been very active in blocking alternate alternate views. I mean very early in the pandemic when Fauci said um oh that is most likely was original source. It came from uh, came from you know a bat or whatever or some some wild animal. I mean, and anybody who said anything else other than that, or even suggested that it came out of a lab, they were blocked on um on on a uh, on Facebook and Twitter and and these other places. And we saw the mainstream media talking about this was really some sort of conspiracy theories. Every, but the point is though. What we have, what is happening, is this corruption now, where the mainstream media and the government is joining forces to deceive us. That is what is happening now. Either they're blocking news, they're blocking information by, you know, like on, on their platform, just like you, you indicated, Jason, or they're dismissing it as conspiracy theory. Facebook is now telling us now, oh. New information is not available, so now we can talk about it. Okay, maybe this show, this show probably would have been banned if not for the fact that now <laughs> the the lab theory seemed to have some some um some legs. So here we are again now, where the mainstream media, which is supposed to be free or free press, is constitutionally mandated, 
but yet they are joining forces with the government against us. What do you guys think? No, yeah, you're right. Well, exactly. And now, uh, the so has the social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. They've joined forces with the government or been <laughs> highly willing to uh, to pick up the the banner and uh, carry it into battle for the for the government for whatever <clears throat> whatever the government says. You know, if they if government says you know the sky is green then they are going to block and uh, get rid of anybody that's going to argue the sky is blue. Okay, yeah. no, the sky is not blue any longer. Now it is green as uh, uh, been uh, uh, voiced by the government. And so therefore we will not allow this, this uh, dissident view point. Okay. All right, fine. Okay, cool. You know, what does that mean? Well, that means that, you know, People like us are 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 not uh, going to gravitate or not going to uh, you know fight that losing battle with those gigantic enormous uh, multi bazillion dollar uh, corporations that have joined that are are now complicit with the government. We're, we'll find other avenues. There's there's a there's a, as many as there are uh, shouting us down that we cannot talk even mention the mere possibility of some some other answer or some other question or some other um, methodology uh, or, or some other cure. Um, if, if that's going to be the case, we will find 8,000 more places that we can voice those concerns and talk about it. And we have and we will. And, you know, and, you know, unless they want to come out to our houses and physically or, or just shut down our Internet, uh, in every which way possible is that, including over the airwaves now, which is pretty much impossible, I would assume. Well, maybe I can't say that it is. They could cancel my AT and T account with my <laughs> iPhone, and then I, you know, then I can't. My LTE goes to zero bars, and I can't access the internet through my phone. Okay, they can do that. If they want to do that. Then go right ahead. You know, there'll be a way that I will find that I can access the internet and find the answers that I seek. Okay. Because I'm an inquisitive person and I'm not going to just roll over and play dead for those morons at YouTube or Facebook or wherever, or the mainstream media, though, though the worst morons of all, they've been <laughs> morons for the last 30 years. And, uh, you know, yeah, but apparently <laughs> moronic behavior is catching. <laughs> well, you know, just as a parting shot on this, too, though, I, I want to make people aware that you got to be aware of these politicians now, too, like people like Elizabeth Warren and others. They literally want to add to the government's power in controlling yes. the media. Right now, it's sort of like an unholy partnership. But, oh, man, I, we certainly don't want the government to get more power over, uh, you know, the, the, the media and social media and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just, you know, centralization is the problem. Decentralization is what we need. Indeed, indeed. Jason, do you have our Knuckleheads Night Patrol um, oh, song okay. yet? <laughs> you have it? Let's hear it, man. Let's hear it. We can't do it without it. We can't do it without it. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, Thank that you so sounded much. good. Yeah, it sounded real good, as a matter of fact. It's easier okay. when you're not hosting. <laughs> <laughs> So today in Knucklehead's Noise Patrol, we're going to talk about the birth of language corruption. <laughs> and the Knucklehead Noise Patrol normally is something we like to end on a, on a little light note at the end of our show. And we are at that point right now. So the White House budget uh, director, a woman by the name of Shalanda Young, informed us that women no longer exist. Instead, we now have Burton people. According to Ms. Young, there are certain people who do not have gender identities that apply to female or male. So we think our language needs to be more inclusive in how we deal with complex issues. I guess the fact that we are only two genders, male and female, is a very complex issue for Ms. Young. I didn't realize that. I think our official policy is to make sure when people get service from their government that they feel included. And we are trying to use inclusive language. 
Wow. Okay. All, all of the all of those given birth should have access to quality health care, according to Ms. Young. What madness is this? Please help you guys. Well, I, that's okay. Fair is fair. If that's the way they want to refer to uh, the birthing people out there, I want to be referred to as an inseminating person. <laughs> Okay. Right? Okay. I mean, we'll have to we'll have to get that get that to the, yeah. the the Biden White House as soon as possible. I think they. I think we should. I think all us men should be banging on their door. Uh, well, <laughs> figuratively, uh, demanding that we be referred to as inseminating persons <laughs> from now on. And so there's two types of people in the world. Well. Well, maybe they think there's 170 types, but, yeah. you know, uh, there's inseminating persons and there's birthing people <laughs> and persons or pre people. Yeah. There you go. How's that? Yeah, well, I, think, <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea because right. apparent, apparently there are people other than women that can birth. Jason, please go ahead. I, well, you know, they all uh, the, the, the birth of bad ideas from the left just never ceases. <laughs> <laughs> These idea of 170 different identities. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess you could just choose your own. I, you know, flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yes. what, what is, I mean, I mean, can I identify as short one day and identify as tall another day? I, you know, some of these things are, are just bizarre beyond belief. I mean, I, but you know, the, the crazy thing is though, language should be a voluntary interaction between people. Yes. So, you know, as long as it's voluntary, if your buddy wants to be the flying spaghetti monster oh, and yeah. you still want to be friends with him, hey, cool. <laughs> you know? I mean, what's the problem? Yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> but it's it's not, it is not, I mean, it's it is okay that you know, whatever we choose to identify as and stuff is when they try to enforce it upon us is where the problems begin. Like yeah. these new pronouns, and now they probably want you, you all pretty soon, I guess, we'll have to refer to women as burden people. God help us, or on all these other nonsense that, that is going on in our society. This is the kind of problems that I think they create. It's not that somebody, okay, if I want to get up tomorrow morning and say that I'm a six foot five Chinese woman, sure, I should be able to do that. But when I expect you guys to say, Leon, you know, that's so nice and wonderful, <laughs> I think that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, true. Plus, the government is spending taxpayer money doing all this kind of nonsense, too. We, uh, you know, if we're going to be bent out of shape about taxpayer money being spent on this, that, and the other thing, well, here's a bunch of rewrites of policy. Oh, I guess it's in their new budget, yeah. right? Okay, well, their new budget's brand new, so... You know, well, maybe there isn't much cost there. Okay, guys. I think yeah. we're at the end. Yeah, I think I, I, think I identify that our show has reached an end. <laughs> yes, we have identified that the show has reached an end, guys. So thank you for joining us today. It's been a great time. Stay free. And always remember, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is what will keep us free. Thank you for watching the Knuckleheads of Liberty. Listen each week in Sacramento on Comcast Channel 17 for Knuckleheads of Liberty on Monday at 5.30 p.m and the Libertarian Counterpoint Show on Thursday at 8 p.m. Also on YouTube, Facebook, and podcasts everywhere.